Namaste yogis, and welcome to Aloe Yoga's flagship store here in LA. My name's Andrew Seely, and I'm here to guide you through a quick how-to on handstands. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this, and like and comment below to let us know what you think. So for beginners handstands, I've got three easy tips that you can practice at home that will help you get that handstand that you've always wanted. First tip is to find your shoulder to finger alignment. And what that is, is basically you wanna bring your shoulder head directly over your first finger knuckle. As you can see, my first fingers are parallel. So my shoulder heads will then be placed directly over the first fingers. This is the shoulder head. If I were to draw one straight line all the way down, it would hit my first knuckle. Awesome. Now from there, you wanna place yourself in a tucked down dog. That means that I'm basically in a forward fold. My knees can be bent. I'm gonna wrap my biceps in and triceps in so that I can really find the length through my collarbones. So we're not rounding, instead we're expanding. Chest is widening up and I'm allowing my arms to be nice and straight. This is the foundation for your handstands. Now, we'll go ahead and move on to our handy dandy wall. First thing that I see people do as a big mistake here in our handstands is just flail up against the wall. They put their hands on the floor and then they just go like this and there's no engagement in the back and the arms are just there to support them and the legs are just doing whatever they want. So instead of this, we're gonna go with a step-by-step, -step, really effective way of you getting that nice, stable handstand that you've always wanted. So we're gonna step ourselves close to the wall, arms distance. So you're gonna press your finger against the wall, see that you've got one straight line of arms distance away from the wall, step your feet together, nice. Then we're gonna place our hands in between our feet and the wall. Okay, so that's our midline point. Now we're gonna go ahead and hop up. And as you hop up, both heels hit the wall. You tuck your toes towards your shin and extend. Then our next step is to bring one leg in, bending at the knee and pressing the sole of the foot against the wall. Now we're gonna slowly draw our hips away from the wall tucking here in the abdominals. Toes tucked towards your shins, extend up towards the sky, almost as if you could press your foot against the sky. Now your other foot is just gonna gently come away from the wall and maybe, whoo, ah, it's okay. Because if you fall away from the wall, you're falling back to your feet. So we're not even falling backwards. We've got the wall as our support there to find our balance. So let's try it again. Nice, I measure first. Place my hands down at the midway point. Hop on up. This time I'm gonna try it with the other leg to stay balanced. So right leg bends, I press against the wall, drawing my hips in one straight line of energy, pulling the toes towards the shin. Knees come together nice and strong. Gently pressing away. Woo! I got a little handstand there. So that'll really help you to find your alignment, to tuck your pelvis here, to find the engagement of the core as you lengthen up. So third try, I'm gonna go ahead and measure my arms distance here. Plant my hands, remember shoulders directly over the first finger knuckle. Awesome, triceps wrap in. I extend a leg and hop up. Awesome, so really pull the toes towards the shin, place the foot on the wall, knees come together, Engage those arms nice and straight and strong. Then gently find that balance. Woo! It's a great workout. <laughs> now we're going to move on to step number three. So for this one, we're actually going to find that same arms distance away from the wall. And then we're going to turn around. We're going to place our feet together and plant our hands right in front of the foot. Then we're gonna walk our feet up against the wall and then bring ourselves to a nice box. <sighs> nice. You're gonna press into your feet and extend one leg up to the sky and gently find that the foot slips away from the wall. 
And maybe we fall into a back bend. If so, no worries. I'm going to try it again. Same thing. Measure. Turn around. Plant your hands. Leg up against the wall. Find your box. This really helps to engage the arms, engage the abdominals. Leg lifts up. Gently find that the legs can come together. Whew. Breathe into your balance. Nice. And bring the feet back down. I'm going to try it a third time, just for good luck. Measure. Turn around. Plant the hands. Deep inhale as you exhale. Press the feet up against the wall. Walk them back down to your 90 degree angle. Use your breath, press up. Maybe you make a shape and find yourself back on your feet. Namaste.